Hey Creep family, it's me again. Hello, Monica. If you didn't know already, hi. <laughs> Today I am bringing you look number eight in our 13 days of Halloween series with Freddy Krueger. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and join in on the spooky shenanigans we got going on this month. We already have seven other looks on this channel you can check out, as well as a bunch of other ones from previous years. So go and look at those if you'd like. Also be sure to comment and like and share this video if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate the support, but without further ado, let's jump right into the look. So to start, we're gonna be blocking out our brows. So I'm just grabbing our Elmer's glue stick, putting a decent amount on my eyebrows, and then using a spoolie to push the hairs up and flat against my head. I'm then gonna put about another five or so layers of the glue on there, just to get it really nice and secure. Once that's all dried down, I'm then using a translucent setting powder over top of that and then layering a concealer or like a thick foundation, blending it into the skin with my finger and then putting another layer of translucent powder on top of that. Next, we're gonna be using this 3D gel. It's basically like a gelatin. So you're gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to heat it up and then I'm just placing a little bit at a time in an extra container and using a spatula to apply this to my face. Make sure that the temperature of this is not too hot to your skin, otherwise give it some more time to cool off. But like I said, we're just gonna be placing this all over our face and this is gonna start creating the texture to create our burns. So go ahead, place this how you like. Make sure to be creating like openings for the, like the wounds and stuff and just do this throughout the whole face until you feel thoroughly disgusting. Now that we're all gross, we're gonna make sure this is dry down completely. It's important that you wait to make sure this is dry, otherwise it's gonna be still very goopy and not easy to work with. While we're waiting for that to dry down, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. So I'm priming my eyelids with some eyeshadow primer and then going in with this kind of rusty brown shade. I'm just gonna be placing this all over my lid and under my eyes and just making it nice and smoky. Once the 3D gel has dried, I'm just putting some translucent setting powder over the top of it to set it as well as take away some of the shine from all that gelatin. We're then moving on to our alcohol activated face paints. I'm going in with the dark red and normal red shade as well as some of these darker colors at the end of the palette. Starting off with the red shades, I'm going in and filling in all of our openings in our 3D gel with this and this is gonna start creating those wonderful burn marks that Freddie has. Once you're all done with that, we're then gonna go in with some of the darker shades, so like the darker reds and the browns and blacks and all of that, and start placing this inside of the deepest parts of the burns to give it more dimension and make it pop a little bit more. We're then gonna take a foundation and place this with a sponge over top of all like the 3D gel and everything. And then once we are happy with that, we're gonna go in and just clean up some of our burns with more of the alcohol activated paints just to bring that color back out a little bit more. Lastly, I'm throwing on some mascara on my top lashes. I'm then gonna be putting some false lashes on off camera, but go ahead and grab the rest of your costume and you are all done. You are now Freddy Krueger. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something today. I will have the next look up in our series up very shortly, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. But as always, have a great rest of your day, stay spooky, and I'll catch you in the next video. Mwah!